What's up everyone? Can Can Grow here in the garden once again. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a brand new grow run and uh, as I started I am super excited to introduce you to a couple of new light fixtures and more specifically to the Forever Green Indoors uh, company. It better known on Instagram as FGI Lighting. Um, I've kind of teased and hinted at this and it's taken a little bit longer to get these runs started than I wanted to because something I think I also mentioned in one of the other uh, one of my latest videos was that I had a couple of clone run failures so that kind of delayed this but we're ready to get going and today and specifically for this run we're gonna be looking at the smaller box here we're going to save the big guy and really the star of the show for uh, the next grow run. But definitely keep in mind that we got this beast to get into for uh, another uh, grow run. But we're going to look at this one right now. This is the FGI Lighting Square 3. And um, I am like, you know, I just can't, I can't rave about it enough. I'm super stoked. These are extremely high quality LED light fixtures that I have been fortunate enough to be able to test out here. Um, actually, uh, FGI Lighting was kind enough to send me this demo of this Uniformity Pro 640. Uh, so huge shout outs to them. But I was so impressed with the specs and all their products that I went ahead and purchased uh, one of their brand new Square 3 uh, indoor grow lights. So, um, yeah, I'm pumped about this. This particular grow run that I'm starting here is going to be in my 4x4 veg tent, but it's not going to be a veg tent anymore. I'm going to be doing a full run in the 4x4 tent uh, from uh, clone to harvest uh, under a flood and drain. So it's the first time I'm doing this on my channel, and while we do that, we're gonna we're gonna do first time running this particular light here. So super stoked about that. Anyways, let me uh, I can't do it on camera. Only got two hands. Let me go ahead and bust this box op box open, and let me show you uh, what this uh, what's special about this LED grow light. Completely new form factor, and uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I think you'll uh, I think you'll like it. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I've gone ahead, gone ahead, and just taken out uh, the light fixture as it was packaged in in the box. Uh, put it on top here, just so you can see what the packaging is like. Uh, has a little manual here with some, uh, you know, um, I guess some installation instructions as far as how to hang it up. Uh, some detailed, um, some detailed specs. If you want, if you go in here. Obviously, it shows a bit of the official light spectrum. Um, I'm just going to quickly skim over this because I will talk about um, the specific details of this light fixture as we go through this um, grow run. But you can see here uh, the efficacy of this is rated at 2.3 micromoles per joule. And um, it's 11.4 pounds. And the power draw is, uh, they say, is 300 watts here. So... Um, yeah, and, uh, anyways, there's really not anything super special here. If you pick up the light fixture, you can definitely go through this yourself. I'll be talking about all these, uh, all these details as we go through. More importantly, let's get into the fixture. As you can see, uh, packaged well here. I think, you know, the key with this and the Uniformity Pro and I think all light fixtures going forward is form factor and that's what's so um, interesting and different about this light is you can see it has a completely different form factor I'm trying to take off this uh, let me see if I can get this uh, unpackaged while we're while we're on camera here one-handed instead of uh, shutting off the camera again all right there's one sorry for the shaky camera work but you can see what I'm doing. All right, there we go. And then obviously it's uh, in this plastic. Sorry, bear with me. Let me just put this camera down real quick. Awesome. Thanks for your patience. So there it is. 
you can see very interesting new uh, form factor. When I say form factor, obviously there's going to be continued advancement in terms of LED diodes and efficacy and, you know, better use of uh, power and, and different mixing and matching of different color temperatures to create different types of light spectrum. But I really think that, you know, the big push right now is how to better distribute the light because even though you have very high intensity LED diodes you want it even across the canopy and these different form factors are what light manufacturers are kind of working on to distribute it better and again as a bit of a teaser I think you're really going to see in my opinion currently what is the best form factor in the strip light uh, um, LED, uh, LED form factor like the Uniformity Pro in the big box behind this. But this is the first time I've ever seen this. Not, it's not the strip light, but you can see there's LEDs all around in this square shape at different, um, different sizes. So uh, that's really what's different about this. That's why it's called the Square 3. There are 960 LED diodes in here. Um, it's a mixture. So, sorry. There are 960 4,000 K Kelvin color temp uh, uh, full white diodes. And then there are um, a few, I, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but there are definitely uh, red diodes, 660 nanometers, I believe. And there's also far red diodes in here, 720 nanometer diodes. So uh, I believe what they said uh, on their site is there's a three to one white to red uh, ratio in terms of diodes. But um, anyways, uh, I'm, again, I'm super excited to uh, get this set up. So let me uh, get this set up in the, in the grow tent and I'll be back. All right, so there it is. I have hung up the FGI lighting square three LED light fixture. There's a this is the power cord and an on off button back there. Sorry, I can't see. I'm just moving the camera around there. And then on this side, there is a dimmer switch. And it appears that you can dim it all the way down to 10%. Okay. There's a light there. It is very, uh, very bright. I don't have uh, any PPFD readings as of yet, but I will definitely do that and share those with you as we get going with the run. So the light fixture came with these um, hangers. Oops, dropped one. But I didn't use them because if I hung them here, as you can see here, I would have very little room to be able to raise that light. See, you can see the wooden... Um, stand I have here for my flood uh, table. So with that going on there, uh, this is pretty much the lowest I could run the light. Um, so I definitely uh, want to be able to, now when, I, when, when I've used these uh, chain hangers here, I can lift this all the way up at least another foot and a half. So that's important, okay? And I didn't put the flood table in yet just because I figured, you know, for those that are interested, because I don't think I've actually shown it on camera before, I'll just show you the actual reservoir for this. So what I have here is I have a, I have a pump over there, a water pump over there, and one over here to circulate the water around the res. This particular reservoir, this under table reservoir is, um, I think it's 150 liters. If, uh, if, uh, if I remember correctly, somewhere around there anyways. You can see I have two bubblers to agitate the water, okay? And obviously I have the, the flood pump. That, and that's the pump that's used to flood the table. And that's about it, pretty simple, nothing crazy. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're all set here to get that going. The other thing is new in this tent is that AC Infinity fan with, uh, let me just get this here, with the digital 
temperature and humidity controller. So for those that have been following me, you'll know that one of the huge benefits I've had with running LEDs, uh, with slowly but surely switching over to LEDs in my grow is that I'm able to control the environment a lot better. And the, the way I've been able to do that is I don't have to worry about heat with uh, the LEDs. I mean, obviously it will vary from fixture to fixture. We'll see what this one is, but I, I, I highly doubt I'm gonna have to worry because I can run the tents as high as 83, even 85 comfortably because there's no radiant heat here. Um, like it would when it, it, I, there was when I ran the ceramic metal halide. So you run a higher ambient temperature, which is awesome because now I don't have to run this exhaust fan continuously. Uh, by being able to have the higher temps, now I have this set to a certain humidity level and it really uh, ha just comes on at a certain humidity level. I do have the temperature set. I believe to 85 or 86, so it will kick on in case the tent temperatures get that high, but I don't really see that happening with these LEDs. So I can run much higher humidities, control it and keep it there, um, which is ideal for being able to maintain a certain VPD level. So that's uh, the huge benefit now, being able to run that AC Infinity fan in here also. So that's about it. So uh, that's, I'm going to leave that as is for this episode because I'm going to finish setting this up. And then in the next update, you'll see the plants that are going in here. Uh, you'll see the plants uh, after they've been moved in here and everything set up and running. So if you got any questions, go ahead and post them below. If you like the content, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the thumbs up. Uh, and just as again, as another shout out, I'm going to put links in the description. If you want to check out uh, this light or any other of FGA, FGI Forever Green Indoors uh, lighting uh, light fixtures, then go ahead and check them out. I encourage you to do so. Link will be in the bio. So uh, until the next update video, this is Can Can Grow signing out. Cheers.